looks scrumptious, just like Cinderella. Turn. I feel more like one of the ugly stepsisters. All the kids at the assembly today stared at me. You were just imagining it. No, I wasn't. Greg told a joke, and I laughed, and I got my lip caught in the braces, and everybody stared at me. We're well, just self-conscious about it. Like when you've got a run in your stocking, you're sure the whole world is looking. I saw Alan stare at me. He made funny faces. It's all in your head. It's all in my mouth. Even my own family's making fun of me. Marcia. I don't think I want to go to the dance anymore. Marcia, it's a woman's privilege to change your mind. But you change yours so often, you're going to wear it out before your 13th birthday. Wow. Is that your new dress for the dance? Mm-hmm. Do you like it? Oh, it's divine. Thanks. Well, I'm glad you told her. She doesn't believe me. Well, sometimes people say things just to be nice. Would we say things just to be nice to you? We're your brother and sister. Then you didn't really mean it. Of course they meant it. I wonder if I can believe anything anyone in this family says to me at all. Honest. It's a real pretty dress. Even if it doesn't cover up your braces. <laughs> Marsha? Marsha, you in there? Alan's downstairs. He wants to talk to you about the dance. I'm not going. Well, if that's your decision, I think you ought to tell him yourself. Can I write him a note? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Honey, listen. Let me give you some advice, man to woman. You're going to tell me that braces won't make any difference to my real friends. Mm -hmm, that's right. Listen. Did you know that the encyclopedia says that some of history's most beautiful women wore braces when they were young girls? Did you know that Cleopatra, some authorities say, wore braces? Cleopatra? <laughs> Wow. Her braces must have been gorgeous. Yeah, and they've improved them in the last few thousand years, too. <laughs> <laughs> See there, you could put a diamond in there and a big pearl, <laughs> a big lumpy emerald right in the middle. <laughs> Hi, Alan. I'm glad you dropped by. This is a very nice surprise. Well, I'm glad you're glad. Because I have another very nice surprise, which isn't so very nice. I can't take you to the dance. Why not? Well, my parents have to go out of town next weekend. So what? I, I've got to go with them. I don't believe you. Honest. It's the truth. You're lying. You just don't want to be seen with the girl who has braces, like I do now. I hate you, Alan Anthony. I hate everybody. But, Marsha. 